I mean, Latin America used to be one week. The first two days was seeing who got out of, you know, the group in second place. If the uh, Chaman, you know, <laughs> it would be Chaman special or Chaman Killer's there. And then you'd see who the fourth player is. And then, yeah, day one of playoffs was pretty straightforward. And then day two playoffs was kind of interesting. And then, yeah, kind of wild. Kind of wild indeed. But here we are. Here and we are. Uh, spawning in the bottom right hand side. It is from, okay, it's putting in the top left hand side, <laughs> going for a 12 pool and a very quick gas. It is from Cranky Ducklings and Brazil, Eric. He's very good at many RTS, by the way. Yeah, he is. He's, he's the one that's, one of these guys is branching out into all these newer games popping up. It's been cool to see. Yeah. There's that Chan in the bottom right from the Starlight Twinkle. Yeah, that was my bad initially. I was, Starlight Twinkles. I was in the bottom right and then Yao was in the upper left. So, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, Nyal, Nyal hopped on. Oh, I see, I see. I see. So I, see. I found Nyal's camera just as you were doing the intro, and then, yeah, faded you. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Because I clicked on your camera. That's my mistake. Yeah. I should have clicked on Nyal's camera. Yeah, we got the observer. But bro. We have a very quick speed here. Very cool from, from Eric. So going for a 12 pull with a link speed to follow, there's going to be a bit, a bit of, a, of a flood to come. I wonder if he's going to save up links after sending the first eight or 10 out. Mm -hmm. or uh, or what the plan is here but i like it in any case I'm gonna yeah. do his due diligence as well to avoid the vision of the first overlord so that his opponent has very little time to react yep nice um nice little initial move and everything so like that as we just get us all set up there's droney on the move around just gonna be seeing these feelings on the move a bit as well so so far so good in terms of uh, information gathering as long as going to get across the bottom right and nibble on that hatchery. Yeah, it looks very, very, very good for uh, Eric right now. Has to be really careful. Mm -hmm. Does get the angle into uh, into potentially picking up one drone. That Cham will now do the proper thing to uh, send back. You know what I really like that a lot of players don't do here where they just, just grab three or two, two or three circlings instead of all of them whenever the probes, whenever yeah. the drones show up, right? Like there's no reason to stop all of your... Uh, all of your damage output like that because if you just grab two or three you still threaten the one drone that, that they're gonna have surface area to kill and uh, and they in turn will probably just grab all of it but now the link speed's Ooh. done and that means a full surround onto cham eric pulling a fast one here quite literally yeah. uh, and he's got more links continue to come across right so the thing is the defense here from cham is not correct for the fact that this is link speed so he just did not recognize yeah the timing of the hatchery did not think about the fact that gas was mining and what that could mean so he just put Beautiful. himself in trouble and Eric takes a huge advantage, and now in the main, maybe you can't do much else, but I mean, you're going to be on the way to kill in a natural. That's going to put you ahead on the hatch timing. The investment uh, cost there is huge as well, so that is big. Oh. That is big indeed. Champ trying to punish a couple of links does get like one or two for his troubles, but yet still, it is not a good position, right? Like he is oh, going to tap out, I guess. That's, he is yeah. done, bro. I wasn't He's expecting that either, but yeah, that works. He is done. Alrighty, GG's. That's uh, that's a fast one. DVZ uh, gets it done quickly sometimes, huh? Uh yeah. That was a, that was a down and dirty CVC for sure. Eric, a very smart player as well. So so pulling a, a fast one as the underdog, I think that's the best way that you can start a series. Where, I mean, like like if I think about it this way, going into the series, I think Cham is you know the favorite in, yes. in most people's eyes. Mm -hmm. But now, oh, after that, I feel like it's like a 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Like, I oh. feel like Eric has now two chances to close it out, and and, and he can very easily do it. Two chances to do something wild again, right? Like, I think exactly, that's the big yeah. thing. Yeah, Eric is... Yeah, uh, or just outplay. I mean, he has been in dark in the past. He's a good player, you know, Eric? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. He's um, he's a good, he's a cool guy. And he when he plays well, he can play real well, too. Like, Eric's peak is, is very high, I think, is, is the really cool thing about Eric, right? So... I feel like he doesn't always play up to his absolute full potential, but when he can, like, he can absolutely take on someone like a Cham, who also sometimes, I think it's fair to say, struggles in the consistency world, so, you know, it does put mm -hmm. a little bit of element of, like, surprise into this series, I guess. Um, and we'll see if Eric can deliver on that surprise or get ready for game number two, as you just mentioned, coming up here in a second, Cat. So we are going to go to Golden Aura. This map's a little bit oh bigger, God, a little bit crash. tougher to be aggressive on. A little bit tougher indeed. Sometimes I'm clicking around, I click I click OBS and then it takes my camera and then it messes up my other camera. It's really annoying. Oh yeah, you are uh, you're purple right now, bro. Hey, it's fixed. You're back. I fixed it, yeah. The man returns. I'm no longer purple. purple. I'm a little bit purple still, but mostly just the lighting in my room. I mean, beforehand you were 
<laughs> you know, looking ill, kind of purple. Now it's like vibes purple. Mm. Thank you. Why did you hang comment on my uh, mustache? Some might think that you are jealous of it. Uh, you know, I saw it. I just thought it suited you. I just thought I'd, I'd let it be. It's not the best compliment. That's just you. Thank you, what are they <laughs> like if, it, if it suits you, like, I don't know. I know you're a very uh, complimentary person, Katz, because I know you complimented me on, you know, my, my tash one time. I'm not, I'm not about yeah, that. Yeah, your tash. It's just the kind of person I am, you know, I don't give out the compliments. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I thought you would recognize a real, like a real mustache would recognize a real mustache type thing. Uh, but mine is still like in, in the infant stages, so it kind of needs like this like uh, validation. It's like an insecure oh, yeah. mustache, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what it, what it gets to. Yeah. Yeah, the insecure Tash. Amazing. Um, much more secure in his opening, however, is Eric, who went for his uh, classic 15 hatch, canceling um, an extractor as well. This is how he took a couple of games off of Dark. And uh, kind of popularized this build order as well, not just in this matchup where it's perhaps the most widespread at this point, but also in other matchups, right? Like where, where you can guarantee that hatchery a little bit quicker against Protoss or mm -hmm. uh, may maybe, you know, like get a, a fast hatch and then queens out in time to deal with Reapers and skip links against Terran type type things. Like small variations of, of ideas like this one are, are uh, seen throughout. Yeah. No, it's um, one of the cool things, right, is just being able to kind of see these variations. Eric is such a creative player. He's always coming up with something a little bit different here or a little bit different there. So uh, always, good to, always good to see, always fun to see. A couple queens, lings all coming about. We get all of that on the way here as well from Eric and Champ. So just going to, for the most part, start heading into very similar situations. Yeah, very similar situations otherwise. So um, Eric is actually one worker ahead, a little bit of gas behind. Cham will be quicker to the speed. But outside of a little bit of uh, differences here and there, nothing out of the ordinary really. Cham now moving to, looking to move out with his six circlings as Eric's hiding his two that he has uh, available. And of course, because he has less circlings, has a couple more drones. And he's taking to a very fast high for the show. That's the lab, but... Uh... Tech coming up. Absolutely. Rotron gonna be along with the cats. So fast lair. Rotron <laughs> dropping down. That's gonna be shown in the front. And I mean, I just play the two base roaches, get fast roach speed. But do you think there's something trickier than that in play here? Well, I don't see an evil chamber. That's the tricky part for me. So I guess, I guess he's just gonna go for uh, for non-upgraded roaches, right? Like I don't, I don't see what else he could do. He's now dropping a. Uh, a gas of the natural, but I don't think you can afford much more than that. So maybe a macro play off of uh, off of a roach baseline, skipping speed instead. Kind of like it. Yeah, definitely kind of a cool uh, way to play is just have that Evo Chamber coming about. So doing things a little bit differently, mixing them up again. That's kind of what we're used to seeing from Eric, and just makes it so difficult to play against him as well, right? Like you never really know what he's up to. You never really know what's coming next. Just makes mm -hmm. life real difficult, so yeah, just trying to create yeah, as many problems yeah. as you can as the uh, Evo Chamber finishes exactly. up. Exactly. that done. So many methodical players these days, and, and Cham is definitely that as well, right? Like he likes to scout, and he's like, "Oh, this is what you're doing. This is my response. Here's you yeah. know the thing that that I do in response to that." And and if you don't exactly know, then you might get confused and do the wrong thing, be thrown off your game, and. Uh, in this case, Cham, however, is going to utilize his links to siege this Roach Warren. So Eric will have to reveal a couple of his roaches, but not much more will come out of that. He's fine. Mm -hmm. A lot of overlords on the way as well. And roach speed almost uh, completed. It's like a, about 80% of the way there. The um, roach warren on the other side of the map will, will finish for Cham, but he's also getting plus one melee, interestingly enough. So, so potentially looking to do something like ravager ling um on, on his end of things but if he kind of commits half and half and doesn't make very many links and, and just tries to hold with roaches all of a sudden he will have given up um a potential upgrade lead over to uh to eric who will save a roach by morphing into, into a ravager things are looking okay for him yeah he's no, ahead in workers too 
Yeah, he's, he's honestly in a pretty good spot. I was just uh, taking map control. I mean, there's so many lings on the way, though, from Cham. Eric needs to back off. Like, mm. the last thing he wants to do right now is actually yeah. be out on this map. Like, this is the worst thing he could be doing. Yep, absolutely. Uh, he has to be really careful. I mean, sees the circlings, I can understand how you're like, oh, okay, that's very few circlings. You know, if I see uh, if I see some roaches or enough roaches, I can back out. But nope, Cham is really relying on these circlings. He's gonna get this around, and that means a lot of biles are gonna go down in the middle of this army. But actually, the bile is the, is a deterrent for um, for Cham to continue to get this around. Regardless, he has way too much links with a plus one will make uh, will make it easy for him on the cleanup there. Well, Eric, I mean, even even, to even more to your point, you're taking up to to a hydralis then and a third. You really have no right to be out there. And now Aspire, maybe cancel the Hydra then. Mm-hmm. Just gonna be seeing the Ravages. Firing up a couple more shots. Ling's still coming over. Roaches and Ling's getting chased away. Yeah, interesting set of decisions here from Eric, who is looking to try to get back inside his base. Yeah. But Cham looking to not allow him. He's instead gonna it's pour happening. in with everything that he has. Yeah. Looks, looks impossible. It's gonna be very tough. You're gonna lose your Rotron as well, right? So there goes production. He has actually started new ones, so maybe that ain't so big of a problem. Um, Spire obviously just, it's just everything so far away from being useful. And uh, this army supply right now from Cham is already looking fantastico. And as he knocks down Evo Chambers, he's just gonna play it slow. Three bases to the two. Cham has the advantage right now, and this ZVZ is looking lovely for him. Yep, and if he can get us around as well, it could get a little bit nastier with the Biles as they will connect instead onto a spine. Links continue to flood in, and this choke is not going to be enough for Eric to hold on. So, game two will go to Cham. Mm -hmm. Eric with a slight misread there, right? Like, he was making a Hydra then, he cancelled it. So, I think yeah. what, what his read was and why he moved out on the map is like, oh, there's Links. Maybe, maybe he even scouted the, the upgrade somehow, I'm not sure if he did. But he anticipated Muta himself, so he, so I think that's why he was going for the Hydra then as fast as he was. And as soon as he realizes it's Roaches, it's it's not just that small squad of links into into Muta, then then he cancels the Hydra then and drops his own Spire, right? So I I think he kind of mind game him, himself a little bit there. All sorts of differences kind of going on during that one. As we wrap it up and we go 1-1 again here, Cats. These America's teams want to just go the distance, even if it's not necessarily being the longest of action. It's definitely been some fun oh. action, so fun to see. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and decide Delta to game three. Who you got? Who you got? What did you show? You have to you have to bet on Cham, I guess, right? If if it comes down to it. Yeah, I think Cham's still the more experienced player, like, you know, 50-50. I I I Actually, 50-50, I guess I'd take Eric because I think he's the underdog a little bit, but I, I think it's just close, right? Like, it's hard to, um, yeah, it's hard to kind of go against him. It's a tough one. It's a tough one for sure. Side Delta. This map just looks like so many other maps, no? <laughs> it looks like, so what, which maps does it look like? I, I feel like there was a, a map that looked exactly like this, like almost the same tile set as well. Like, but I can't remember the name. Maybe less white and more green? Like Velshire Vestige? Velshire Vestige, maybe? Let me see. I'm checking as well. Velshire Vestige is pretty close, yeah? But no, yeah. I don't think that was it. Not oh, the one I'm think thinking about. No. Mm -mm. Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> yeah. In any case. I, I got nothing for you then, Gatsy. <laughs> that was my one guess. <laughs> my one and done. It's okay. All right, let's go in again. So you three, feel then. like this is a unique, beautiful map? I like, I like it, man. Like, I like it. Yeah. It's a nice tile set. Nice tile set. Yeah. I'm into it. I'm all, I'm all about let's it. Let's see it. I'm all about it as well now. As Eric is going to go for, uh, okay, just the classic 15 hatch again. In the top left-hand side for Brazil, Eric. Eric. In the bottom right hand side, it's going to be Cham from Mexico. Mexico. Chamaco. Eric going for his signature 15 hatch. Yeah. So he's going to get that out. What, what sort of stars are you thinking we're going to see here, Cats? You have to make a bold I prediction. think that mm, I'm going to boldly predict that Eric is going to go for Mutalisks. 
and okay. Cham is gonna go for Burrow Brooches. Mm -hmm. And then Eric will find a clamp of 17 Burrow Roaches with an Overseer unsuspectingly. Cham will try to unburrow and pull back, but it will be too late for at least six or seven of them. At which case Eric will start to snowball, switch into his own Roaches. Counter attack and um, Cham will GG out with Eric winning at 13 minutes and uh, 28 seconds in. What do you think? I think Chance is going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> On the back of some roach. I think he's going to make some roaches and win, Caps. <laughs> I like it. It's like, oh, like, bro, you forget we're casting CVZ here. Yeah, we didn't need to go so deep. <laughs> yeah, this is the price is right a little bit too much. Price is I mean, right. one of these days I'll get it right. It'll work. Hmm. Let's see. How do you feel about Eric's opener, by the way, and the position that he puts him on? Because he's always going to be lagging a little bit behind in terms of speed, right? Like his gas is a little bit uh, later, but otherwise he seems to be like a worker ahead usually. And he also has like the extra defense of just having his uh, hat in the natural finish a little bit sooner. So very strong against early pulls and such. That's nice. I like it. I dig it. It's, it's one of these things where it's, like, for a very it's fast just layer. so... It's one of those just so in depth, right? Like it's it's cool. I like it, and he's going for a very fast layer yet again. So had a very fast roach warren yet again. Same exact opening as last time, in fact. But knowing Eric, he probably has a different transition. Something tricky about this that signals to his opponent that he's going to do something, and then does something else. At least that's what I'd like to see. No additional gases for the time being, though, so un un unfathomable that it would be anything other than roaches or something strange like a, like a Nidus, but there's not even link speed to speak of, so... I think it'll just be ro roach speed, what are they, Joe? Just roach speed. Gotta be. Okay, okay. Okay. On the other side, Cham cancels and uh, remakes an evil chamber. I'm not sure if that was a road one or what, what he cancelled, but remakes it in any case. And he now starts his own lair. Roach Beat will begin on the side of Eric. As he will also look to start his plus one attack. Which won't really kick in to, to make anything happen with the Roach Beat, at least not in tandem with it. So I wonder if there is any sort of timing that can emerge from this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's... Uh... I, it's gonna be fun because these guys are also so creative, right? So then sometimes you see them kind of play these kind of weird builds and it's like, well, what's the plan? And then they come out with like, well, this is my plan and they hit the sick timing. So that's one of the things So we can and wait to see. Obviously that Roach Speed plus one missiles versus, you know, a guy that's just getting to Link Speed here. Champ with that Link Speed cats, so much control. Are we worried that Eric's just gonna be so late to that third base? Yeah, quite possibly. I mean, he's making more units this time around, at least. He's making a second... Oh, that second of chamber is just for the wall of, I guess. But yeah, I think if you're Eric, you're looking to move out with uh, with the uh, roaches that you make until roach speed, and then maybe look to cancel a third, right? Like, he knows that Cham has a third. So I think you just gotta lean heavily into this and, and see whether you can make it work. He, he, he does have one extra worker as well. But uh, but yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of good for Cham, right? Like he's only making workers now, so it's unlikely that he has over droned. Mm -hmm. We'll see if Eric can still exploit this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Roaches heading on down as we just make our moves across. So it is going to be Eric looking to try and find a little bit of something right here. That's going to be seeing those yeah, roaches back down for Cham. Yep. It's important that those roaches uh, can kite the links at least a couple of times when they get engaged on. So Eric doing the right thing of uh, poking at the hatchery and Cham doing the right thing of waiting for Eric to poke at the hatchery to then come in when the attack is effectively on cooldown. We'll get a beautiful surround on the back of that as the links continue to make themselves difficult to uh, to get. And, and as a result, Cham gets a very, very clean cleanup without the need for roach speed. Just enough links to hold the roaches in place uh, nets him a very favorable trade. And no third, um, you know, taken down from the side of Eric, who does have still a couple of extra workers compared to Champ. So he's not out by any means. And plus two is, is, is still pretty even as well from both ends. So kind of an even game somehow. 
Yeah, been uh, kind of an intriguing uh, setup so far, hasn't it, as we get ourselves settled on in. Just going to be seeing those roaches on the left side now getting built into the third base. So they can just set up there, play that defense a little, plus two missiles coming up on both sides with Hydra Speed already coming up. Just so interesting to see when we can find the time to build Hydras because it's so vulnerable. If your opponent masses roaches and you're building Hydras, like you're in for a bad time, right? I would think so, yeah. I think I think the, the thing is that if your opponent has the same exact economy and they're dumping their gas into Ravagers, they are going to be better at that damage output than the Hydras because they also have their, their ability in the Corrosive Bile, which, you know, forces things to, to uh, reposition and whatnot, so... Maybe in a very wide open space where Corrosive Bows are very uh, low impact, then Hydras can be the, the better choice. Obviously, they can be really nice against Muta, but yeah, it's not often that you see people opt into Hydras just, just to have. I guess killing Overlords is kind of nice too. Again, Ravagers can do that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our Roaches Ravagers coming about. It's going to be dropping those cross of Oh, wow, cats. nice. That's a solid to kill. That's a very nice little throw. Yeah, very well done. Trying to go for another one. Barely misses it, but the next set should get it. And right here is Eric going to be finding out. This is actually a decent position for Eric to fight. The Cross of Pals will dislodge his position just ever so barely just for a second. And every every single one of these Cross of Pals forces movement to the army of an Eric that if he is not perfectly synced with his attacks, he will struggle to damage to, to output all, the, all of his damage. With that said, the Ravagers are exposed and now might be taken down. Eric, after a good fight in a nice concave, actually manages to push back Champ convincingly. Yeah, is able to defend, push him back. Both players about to get that plus two missiles, and now a very different game coming up because we got Roach Hydra taking on someone trying to play Roach Burrow and so on in that Roach harassment style. So that's going to be two very different, a very interesting kind of ways of this uh, to go. So we look at that and we look to see how this is heading. Hey, fun cats! That's I such did an interesting predict situation. Roach. I did predict Roach Burrow. I gotta say, what did you show? Well, that's because you're I did predict cats. Roach Burrow from Cham. You did indeed. And I also predict that 17, I think, roaches will get caught by an overseer. <laughs> this, this has to happen. Okay. I'm into it, man. I'm ready for it. I'm into it. I'm, I'm, it's happening. On the other side, we expect the Muta switch to happen any second for Eric, but for the time being, he is just moving about with his roach Hydra army. Very unconventional indeed. We'll find an overlord over here. And he can uh, posture around this choke. He can go back if he needs to or push forward if he feels like he has enough. As a set of Biles is already used, the next set of Biles is also there. And Eric is actually pushing forward, but forward a little bit too much to where some of his Hydras are actually exposed. And Cham, with a little bit of a flank, is able to mitigate for a lot of the mm -hmm. damage output that Eric can, 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 can otherwise output. It's looking very bad for Eric now as the, as the Hydras are going to struggle to retreat out of creep. And a uh, nice hold from Cham. <clears throat> Roach Ravage is going to go chasing back up the left hand side, so he's just going to go pushing over there immediately. Plunge of roaches coming up and get that all in the way. And we just have ourselves the few roaches burn and going to get a move along as well. It is going to be time for Chan to There's go take advantage on the back of this fight. He's going to get through before the There's overseer. There's a group gets. of 17 roaches going into the natural right now. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that's 17 though, cats. Uh, may need to redo the uh, counting <laughs> on that one. <laughs> All right, well, in any case, there's a fight happening now at the third base, which is uh, likely to determine the game here, or maybe not, as Cham will get pushed back this time around. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of a reprieve finds Eric. However, he is taking a little bit of damage in his main and natural from the 17 Roaches that did manage to sneak in. They haven't yet been dealt with, but soon to be. Yeah, well, 11 Roach uh, drones go down, and oh. that will be that yeah on the other side i mean there's a little bit of an arc there for cham and that's plenty for all of his roaches to output their own damage now the hydras much more expensive units are gonna get caught as they retreat yet again as the roach buffer has been dealt with on the side of cham with his arguably superior roach ravager composition mm -hmm. but you gotta applaud eric for believing in um, that something different can happen and, uh, and be the best, right? trying to set the meta of uh, with a new with a rel with a new unit to the matchup. Basically, in 2024, you gotta respect. Yeah, to be fair, it's, just, it's definitely not quite the norm, right? It's definitely not what you expect to see, but he gave it a shot. Yeah. 
I'm gonna give it a go. I'm just gonna see the Roach Ravager coming back through. I'm just gonna be seeing the back and forth continuing. Roach is coming up on both sides, but the numbers are just there for Cham. And looking beautiful. Looking absolutely beautiful. On the other side, Eric trying to get a hatchery, but won't even be allowed that uh, Pyrrhic victory as he is now forced to back away with his one Roach. No, don't do it! It dies. He tried to turn it as well. You could see that it turned. It turned at the very last second. Like, you know, made a sudden movement with his legs to try to sidestep, but it was just not enough. And so he sold, joins his brethren in death. And now um, Eric looking to do the same. As he heads towards his doom at what, what is uh, twice, twice the army supply from Cham. Tough. I mean, it's basically impossible, right? I mean, guy in the fight here. The yeah. numbers are absolutely there for Cham. It's going to be enough to get the GG. 